Okay, something I want to point out over here in the side margin. Do you guys see this little tag there? The percent proportion, the word of, is usually followed by the whole. And that's really important as we are setting these up because we're taking it from a word sentence and we're setting it up as a proportion. So if you see of, you need to think that what's next is going to probably be the whole. Keeping that in mind as we go through the examples. Okay, so what percent of $15 is $9? What's right after of? 15. So 15 is the whole and 9 is the part. So if we're looking at setting up this problem, we would do 9 over 15. is equal to something over 100 because what's always the whole when we're doing percents? Okay, and then we would cross multiply and notice what the book is showing us. 9 times 100 would be 100. is equal to 15 times n. This is an example. They've done all the work for us. And then you would take and divide 900 by 15, and you would get 60. So look at what the answer says. So $9 is 60% of $15. Okay? And if you look in this ratio when we finish, 9 and 60 would be across from each other because they're the parts and 15 and 100 are across from each other because they're the whole okay so let's try that down here with these examples what percent of 25 what's after the word of 25 so again we want to be thinking part and whole What's after this is 25, so that's our whole, is 20. And because we're asking what percent, our second ratio has to be over 100. And you can put whatever variable you want in there. I asked you guys to grab a calculator. If you could please cross multiply, what's 20 times 100? is equal to 25 times x. What are we going to divide by? 25. Do 2,000 divided by 25? And get 80. 80% 80 is our answer. <coughs> so 20 is 80% of 25. We have to turn these back into sentence answers, but we can use numbers as our, our answer in the sentence. I want you guys to try to set up B on your own. $12.75 is what percent of I know my first ratio is going to be dollars because the problem is asking about $12.75 and $50, right? What goes where in the first ratio then? $12.75 is what percent of 50? This tells us that this is the whole. So this would be the part. And then the question is asking what percent? That means our unknown is going to be the part of the percent, and it's out of 100. Any questions on setting that up? Okay. Let's look up at example two. I'm just going to talk through this one pretty quickly. What number is 40% of 120? Well, I see of 120 here, that's telling me it's the whole. And I'm also given a percent here. So when we look down here, they're showing a P for the part over 120, because that's my whole. Where did they get the 40 over 100? From the 
40 what? Percent. 40%. And we, we've cross multiplied, so we know how to do that. We're going to skip down to setting these up. What number is 5% of 60? So I know my first one is going to be the numbers, and 60 is my whole because it says of 60 is equal to 5%. What's my second ratio going to be? 5 over 100. And you can put a P here for part. I like to use X because I like to make that little curly X. We would do 5 times 60 divided by 100 to get the answer. 5 times 60 would be 300 divided by 100 would be 3. And that makes sense if you think about it. 3 over 60 would be the conclusion of this. 5% is small, isn't it? And 3 is a lot smaller than 60. So does that answer just make sense? Yeah. Okay, we've got 12% here. So we know our second ratio is going to be 12 over 100. 12% 12 of what? 85. It says of 85, so 85 is going to be our whole x up here. We won't take the time to cross multiply. We're just practicing setting up. Okay. I think we're going to do this last example, and then you guys are going to do some practice problems. Let me get there on example three. 18 is 25% of... What's following the of this time? What number? That means that's our variable. We don't know the whole here because the, it's saying of what? We don't know what it is, so that's how we're going to set this up. Yes, so we're going to have 18 is the part, and it is 25% of some number. That's our whole. And again, cross-multiplying to solve. Let's try these problems down here. 40% of what number is 26? So 26 is going to have to go over our variable. That's our unknown this time. Is equal to what over here? 40%. 40 and how do we show that as a ratio? 40 over 100. We would cross multiply, divide by 40. And let's set up one more together. 84 is 75% of, there's my key right there, of what number? Since we don't know what this is, that's where our unknown goes. What's going to go above it? And it's going to be equal to? I think you guys are ready for some practice on this now. Okay, so I'm going to have you turn and look at page 124. Page 124 is one, two, three problems. We didn't do the example that's the word problem, but I'd like you guys to try setting this up. And the example for it is right up above it on this page. Okay, you're still looking for that keyword. Look for the of, look for the what, where's the percent. So I would like you to try to do one, two, three, four here and you can work on this page with a partner and then come and check your work compared to mine. I'm going to leave mine here up front so you can come and check. And then, that's not all, I'd like you to do all the problems on page 125. So your task today is to get pages 124 and 125 done. 124 with a partner, 125 on your own, and then put your book away and work on ST math. Questions? Okay, check if you need help with me, okay?